what's up Grizz fam we back at it again and <clears throat> this was a tough workout for me you guys um a slew of issues uh that could have been prevented but you know that's part of just working out um this was well, a monday night my third week in my second cycle of hypertrophy training so you know this is just some warm-ups going on real nice and simple um what else uh just getting acclimated um you know just getting used to the movement you can see i'm really concentrating on my form you know trying to keep my knees in you know i've been trying to work on my internal rotation of my femur working on opening my the capsule in my ankles you know to help with my hip and getting my hips stronger you guys like it's a lot of work i've been trying to do on myself and then there's only so much you can do without you know external help so you know this workout man my hips was so damn tight my calves were tight my ankles just wouldn't open up and this is after 30 minutes of cardio and about 25 30 minutes of literally stretching banded stretching foam rolling um what else core activation glute activation and literally i just could not open up like doing this 405 you know it felt like a freaking struggle and i knew it was going to be a tough workout so you know definitely tried to do the squats uh barefoot no shoes on no um chucks on at all and really trying to grip the ground with my toes you know open up the hips engage the glutes underneath breathing in tight with the you know in the belt keeping the core tight you guys it felt like a grinder from set one this right here is about 415 um yeah 415 and i did it for five and literally it was supposed to be five sets of five between like 70 70 to like 75 percent of my uh training max and oh man it was tough i remember it was just about like a, a little bit over a month ago where i did 425 for eight and doing 415 felt like a gigantic struggle but it's all a part of the process to be honest with you it's not like um I know I'm getting weaker or anything like that. It's just letting the body recover and then also understanding your weak points and what to do. So, you know, definitely I I need to see a um, physical therapist real quick, get some intramuscular massages, just really help me open up the hips, unlocking the muscle, even as we talk right now my calves are spazzing out because the tightness in my calves and in my ankles are affecting my knees which hurts like it's even hard to even do like you know when you're standing up and pulling your heel to your butt to stretch your quads i feel it all in my knees just because my quads are so tight and my calves are so tight it's pulling the knee the knee joint in two different directions and then it's always clicking and popping so, you know, definitely you guys, when you're squatting and you're hearing a bunch of clicking and popping in your knees, it's tightness either coming from your calves or from your quads. And that's going to lead to knee pain unless you directly had a knee injury, you know, you, so I know where it's stemming from and I know what I need, um, you know, and you can see me just struggle here. I went up to 425 on the third set and only got it for four um 
and then it just went downhill from there it really did it just got harder and harder per rep i tried to you know breathe in concentrate you know keep everything tight and it just got harder and harder and in between each set was about you know two to five minute rests and every set i kept um every set that went by i increased it by a minute so by the last set i literally waited you know rested for five minutes just trying to get mentally right and being like yo damn i got this I gotta get it done five by five easy at 425 because i did it for eight reps like no problem and this right here was the fourth set 425 and i only could squeeze out three like this this was a struggle and you guys can see it belt on knee sleeves on and it was just bad and literally i have my shoe in this clip right now because i was like you know forget it i ain't gonna even do the fifth set there's no point and i was like all right let me try to get one more and look at this shit right here yeah i was done after this this was this was bomb i racked the weight went right into my next exercise benching did my quick warm-ups 135 you know the deal and i switch my um benching style to competition bench pausing at the bottom for one or two seconds and pressing uh, I really got to increase the strength because bench is my weakest lift. So, um, you guys, that's what I've been doing. It was another five sets of five strength purposes. So it was between 70 to 75% of my training max, um, which I actually brought down my training max just so I can work on form and work on pausing my bench. So this is the third set. I'm at 75 percent of my max now um supposed to do five reps i think i only got four here you know and i usually could do 275 for eight reps but i was just gassed this day just kept bombing all my sets all my lifts today and this was literally i had a couple other accessory lifts after this and i ended up bombing it all and like this just threw me off hitting that clip. Look at this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Finish for. So I came into my uh, fifth set, bang as much as I could, man. And I went home. I was done. You guys, it wasn't a great day for lifting, but I'm still working. I am still busting my ass. So, you guys, thanks for watching. We'll check you in next time.